Okay, fourth graders, right here we have Epic. I've emailed your parents with how to get you signed up for this. Um, if for some reason there's any issues, please let them um, get a hold of me, tell them. Um, but as of right now, with everything that's going on and being out of school, we shouldn't have to use this class code to sign in, but we'll see. So first thing, once we get you signed up and have your parents do that, you're going to find your name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my niece who's already been on this trying it out for us. So I'm going to go over here and you would what you would do is you would find your name. Um, you scroll down, find it, click on it. So I'm going to go to Miss Amelia here. It will load. And then when you get here, you're going to see a lot of different things. But there are some pretty fun and amazing things going on here because you know I love books and words so let's kind of check this out. There's lots of options to find books, to try to type in books, to type in topics. Um, as you scroll down, how many of you are familiar with Netflix? This has been called the Netflix for children's books and it's pretty fantastic. So there's lots of different options. These are just for ones that like my niece read and things that they kind of suggested for her. But let's just kind of go up here. There's multiple ways to search. Well, let's just go to the search bar and say I'm looking for a topic like, oh, there, see, it gives you some like options right there, which is pretty awesome. And these are ones that my niece looked up. Um, if you scroll down, ton of options. Like the options are endless. You can kind of play around and have fun, but um, you know me, I'm gonna go ahead and look up donuts. Maybe I'll just say donut. And then there are some books. There are some videos that correspond with that. Um, let's just say if I wanted to try a book out. Oh, I love Arnie the Donut. Okay, and then it gives me the age range, three to seven. So you're like thinking, okay, maybe, maybe not, but try it out, see if you like it. We, you never know. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is what I, oh, this is fun. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm totally geeking out over this. It can, oops, sorry. Some of these books can read to you. They're, they're read aloud. Um, but as I click, I'm just clicking on it and it's turning the page. I have read this book before and it's amazing. There's lots of little funny um, plays on words. So anyways, I'm going to stop there. It tells you like your progress down here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then those of you, let's say, I know some of you were into the Titanic. I can type that in. Once more, look at all of these options. It's pretty phenomenal. Also, you can search by age. You can search by reading level. If you don't, I, we don't use these, but you can go to other leveling system and look by just grade level, which is kind of nice. So you can click, I'd say anywhere between um, second up to seventh grade would be great for our classes. And then, there's just look at all these options and it's kind of similar to accelerated reader or ar where you can take a quiz after some of these now what i'm going to have um the next place that we're, we're going to go is this um you can click explore and it's kind of similar it'll just give you a bunch of different options your library if you click your library which is similar to like your bookshelf on ar it shows you these are the books like my niece read so the books that you read will kind of show up on there just like they did on AR. Next is your mailbox. Now what I love about this is that I can push out an assignment to you guys and it will show up in here. So I will let you know that in the lesson plans if I decide to do that, but it's pretty fantastic. So mailbox, look for that, but I'll let you know. Um, as you can see right here, it says come back and look for collections shared from your teacher. Now lastly, if we go over here to your name, so let's check out this, let's pretend it's you, but we're looking at Amelia. Um, you can go ahead and go to your view profile. And this is kind of like where you would look on Accelerated Reader to see where your goals were and things like that. Um, don't worry about goals right now, I'm not worried about that. But you can see your activity, so you can see the different books you've read. And this is kind of cool because it shows you, whew, that was real fast, excuse me. It shows the dates. Um, it shows how many pages you flipped. I know for here, like Amelia might have clicked on this one and was like, eh, not interested in that. And then she might have walked away from her iPad or something. Um, and, and then she decided not to read that. Totally fine. We know that sometimes it takes a lot of books to find the right one. So don't worry about clicking on one, starting it, and not finishing it. And this is the example of the one that we started. You can always go back to it. Um, as far as right now, when Amelia started this, she has read 22 books. It's kind of cool to see she's accumulated 3.4 hours read and she's watched one video. 
So it kind of puts it all together. And then for me, I would be able to see everybody's and their activities. So that is going to be your goal is to sign on here, play around with it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I think other than that, that is epic and lots of amazing, amazing options on here, you guys. So go and check it out. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Take care. I'm also gonna go ahead and show you there's an achievements section. Now we're used to making AR goals. So we've made short-term goals monthly and then we've made long-term goals for the whole year. Now I'm not gonna have you set any goals right now until the end of the year. I just want you to kind of take a peek. For example, once they turn a color, they like Amelia's reached these goals. So for example, her first book right here, if you click on it, it'll tell, oh, just kidding. Oh, good girl, woohoo, go Amelia. She finished 20 books. Um, and then let's see, oops, I'm gonna click out of that. Let's click here. What does this mean? Okay, reach level five. What does this mean? You read two days in a row. So they're just like little icons and achievements that I know some of you are goal setters. So if you want to try to um, set yourself a short term goal, maybe by the middle of April, do you want to get to a certain spot? I have no idea. But it, if you scroll over these, they'll tell you what they mean, which is kind of nice. Um, other than that, the, that's the achievements area, kind of like earning badges. All right. Thanks, you guys.